hello and welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to install chemo or quimo into your arc linux system chemo is a really good software for making kvms and without further ado let's just get right into it so it's a really common here process the first of all we will update our system it's really good to have your system updated in case you need packages that require stuff that are updated so just update your system it won't take too long and this is the command you need now it's a really long command i'll try to put it in the description so you don't have to type it out but and then uh, we just have to enable it so we'd have to enable libvirt so that is the service that will actually run our chemo onto our arc system so this will handle everything so we'll enable it we'll just start and then dash dash now which will start the service right now so we don't have to reboot it every time we want to start it so now we have to add it to our user group so we have to add a new group for it so we don't have to type in uh, sudo every time we want to use it so just type in this command so you can just use it and then just go for now this one we are actually checking if the virtual internet is working that make sure your file looks something like this or uh, you actually have this file if you have this that means that your virtual service is active then we are going to restart our liver so it is restarted and then we are actually going to like start our virtual network and then we have to make sure it is set up as auto start i forgot to type in version here <laughs> Well, now this is marked as auto start, so every time our system boots up or our network boots up, this will boot up along with it. So we don't have to manually boot this up every time we're creating a virtual machine. Now we can see that if we just type that command, our chemo is actually installed. And if we just check the status, it is also running. So now we can just type in vert manager and this will actually open up chemo now in this video i won't go into how to actually use this because well that's a process in its own this is just to show you how to install it if you found this video helpful obviously hit like and subscribe and also leave a comment on which distro are you running on your kvm and i'll see you guys in the next one bye